every state will not have a ranch. Only states that desire ranches will have them. Because under the law, under the Land Use Act, President Buhari does not have control over any land outside the federal capital territory. In all the states, in each of the states, the entire land is vested in the governor. So if a governor does not give land to the federal government, he cannot establish a ranch. So Nigerians must get that very clearly. But sentiments apart, we have to be serious about this matter. Ranching is not a new development in Nigeria. It's not a new phenomenon. The Amondo Bello regime, for the first ranch in Nigeria, was established in Cross River State, at Obudu, in 1951 by the British. It was later taken over by the Eastern Regional Government. The Awulao regime had a ranch in Akuno, now owned those states. The Amandu Bello regime had a ranch in Mokwa, Niger State. Under the Gowon regime, the Audubako regime in Kano had the best ranches in the country. But what happened was that under the military, during the long years of military rule, all the ranches in the country collapsed. That was the beginning of people taking cattle from one part of the country to the other. Those who say that, oh, we've been doing it from time immemorial, are talking rubbish. It's not our history. In fact, in the cases of the Southwest, the apart from our own regime introduced a type of a species of cow from Argentina. So we must solve the problem. And it can only be solved scientifically. And we must learn from what is going on in Africa. Botswana, Mozambique, Kenya, Eritrea, Ethiopia have the best ranches in the continent. In fact, Botswana has a population of 1.2 million people. The cattle population is 2.8 million. That is the largest exporter of meat in Africa and the largest producer of meat. So, so you of... don't need to take cattle land. You produce the meat and distribute the meat. So we must go more than. So there's no sentiment about it. For instance, the Southwest consumes 10,000 heads of cattle every day. You need to have a ranch. One of the state governments at the very least must invest in ranching to take care of, you know, meat production. So my people, you've heard it all. Yes, yeah, so one of our senior advocates of Nigeria, um, the person of Femi Falana, has actually um, said a whole lot about ranching, about headers, you know, about a whole lot about um, what is going on, what has been going on in the country regarding headsmen. And uh, we all know the atrocities and um, uh, what the headsmen have been doing. And, um, you know, every day we keep hearing um, from different parts of the states in Nigeria about what the headsmen have been doing and we all know as well that um, right now the heads the headers they even go um, um, go with guns you know and um, a whole lot of weapons uh, with, with them you know and it hasn't uh, it hasn't been well with the with, with the people of the of, of the states you know and um, nobody actually wants to be honest nobody wants headers in their state at the moment and it's so funny because um you know we all eat meat every day and uh, we can't do without that but still we still we want these guys to go back probably to the north you know and uh, it's posed a whole lot of problem you know the federal government cannot really come out to say their position at the point in time because they know with the state of nigeria you know uh, with what even the West consume, the Southwest consuming a day, it's it's a whole lot. What are the logistics if they go back to the North or so? What are the logistics to get uh, meat across to um, the South, the West um, every blessed day? So those are the kind of things that the federal government is looking at. But we all know that the federal government has been pushing towards ranching. 
you know, and um, you know, um, the people, the the, the 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 governors of the state hasn't found that funny at all, and they are pushing also that they don't want that in their state based on what these headers they've done um, in recent times. But we all know that. Um, it's really a, a very difficult situation to call at the minute. And um, Femi Falana has made us um, understand that even the federal government doesn't have control, full, uh, uh, total control over the lands in Nigeria. He said under the Land Use Act, um, the federal government only have the right over the federal capital territory, as in, in terms of giving out lands to headers or giving out lands for any reason whatsoever, they can only do that within the federal capital city uh, territory. But we are, uh, and, and also the governors of each state has got control over the land lands um, in their state. So it therefore means that only the governors can actually um, give out land for uh, ranching or what, whatsoever. And it makes it really, really very difficult for for the federal government to actually address this situation. But indeed, this situation has to be addressed. This situation has to be looked into because it's causing a whole lot of problems. It's causing a whole lot of chaos in Nigeria at the, at the point in time. One thing that Femi Falana has advised is that we need to look into other African countries. He talked about Botswana, Mozambique. He talked about Eritrea. And at, at the point in time, Botswana is the, is the largest producer of... Um, of meat, you know, around the world, you know, uh, around the um, uh, Africa and um, exporter of meat as well, you know, and there are only 1.2 million people in Botswana, you know, so it, and and we we and, and we, we we quite understand that they 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 usually deal more on ranching. They don't they cut the the, the cattle don't go all over the place. No, they 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 they, they focus on ranching. And as well, Nigeria had to has to also look into that as well to see if ranching could be possible in Nigeria. Once upon a time, it used to be, according to Femi Falana, it used to be during the military regime. But that has fallen apart, you know. And that was when we started having cattle go around Nigeria. He has made us understand that that is not the history with Nigeria. Cattle used to be. Um, um, ranched, but right now um, the whole situation has changed. You know, uh, headers everywhere in the country, and you know, we the, the federal government at this time has to put a a clear path to 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 these headers to either ranching or we we need to find some sort of ways to actually curb the menace that is happening with this headman with with this headsman. What is with what they are doing in the country? Because now it has turned. It has turned a different ball game because every day we hear what is going on with headers, this headers, there, you know, and um, Nigerians are not finding it funny anymore, and that is why the in each state the the, the 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 state governors do not even want to hear anything that relates to headers. That is why they don't want to they don't want headers in their in their territory or in their state. And as such, it's going to pose a really big problem because Nigerians are demanding for 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 a solution to to this headsman uh, um, 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 atrocities and headsman has to be put in control and some sort of control has to come in at this point in time. So my people, that is it. That is what Femi Falana has said and he's, he's, he said it without sentiment. He said there's no sentiment about this. At the end of the day, we have to find a way to, 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 to have the ranching system in Nigeria. And I think at this point in time, the governors, they have to come together to actually look for a progressive way to actually end this problem in Nigeria. You know, we all know that the federal government is pushing towards getting ran uh, uh, ranches in Nigeria. Well, it's, it's, it seemed to be a very good way to actually um, curb what is going on in Nigeria. So my people... We want you to have your say. We want you to... Uh, let's discuss about this on the comment section. Yes, tell us what you think about ranching in Nigeria and what Femi Falana has just said. And let us explore this um, topic and see where uh, where we get with uh, ranching. Thank you very much, my people. Just in case you haven't given us a thumbs up, please do give us a thumbs up to let us know that you appreciate us. And if you haven't subscribed as well, please do hit the subscribe button and the bell just to notify you whenever we put any um, um, thing and any, any news um, on, on online. Thank you very much my people we do love and appreciate you god bless you until i come your way again you take care god god bless you bye bye